A delightful game. Let's load up. Remember where we were. Oh, controller doesn't want to listen to me. I need to change. <clears throat> there you go, Twitch is quiet. Well done, Twitch. Well done. Well, let's go do this set. This clock puzzle. I remember how to play the game. Uh, uh small. I don't... Nothing. Yeah, not in this small one. Oh, I've got enough of the puzzles. Let's get on with the game. There we go. Ding dong. What have we got? We've got ourselves. Another key, I think. Just the shield? No, bad controller. Jesus. What job? There's a go, a shield key. Positively delightful. Right, so. Let's what the shield can do. The one on the other side of this hallway. Hoping. Because I'm carrying way too much garbage at this point. Way too much. Look at all this. It is. Right then. So. Oh, upstairs it is then. Upstairs, left hand side. Back when I originally used to play this through, I'd often have some friends with me, so I wouldn't have to remember where I was going so much. They'd just guide me. <clears throat> oh, no. First one. First one. This one. Oh my god. Ugh. I'll do that one. I'm going to do the other one at the other one. I think I've killed everything here. If not, bad things are about to happen. Very bad things. Oh my good god. Here's how much I've done. Where does that go to? Let's try that because I don't really know where I'm going now. <clears throat> let's just um, let's head through that. See what happens. What's good of it? It's telling me I'm using the Xbox pad. I'd like to have thought it would have already known that. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. What? Total idiot. Total idiot hole. Don't know what I'm doing. Some messages, just have a look at the messages. I 
No, oh, like back in the window. Back in the window. Let's try this way. What's the worst that could happen? It's this bloody room again. Apparently, there's a way out at the end. Let's see if that's a shield door. It's locked. Cool, it is. At this point, you know what you gotta do? Just get quit. Because it's quicker to quit and reload. Oh, but I didn't save after I did the key. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, we know what we're doing. No, no, David. No. Yes, yes. Large. Left. Yes. Large. Left. Done. No. Delightful. Let's get this. And go the other. Yes, I will. I should go the other way. So I know for certain the door, which is red in the central area at the back, that's a one-way system. I'll get through there. <clears throat> go through the top door there. Maybe I can go fight the snake. Maybe I can go fight the snake. That sounds like an awful idea. Let's go do that. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> them camera angles. Why is that red over there? Oh, maybe I haven't picked everything up in that area. No, I'm not sure I'll tell me. Okay, go through here. Hmm, what on me? I'm not going to face a snake with that. Right, just be a second. Amazing. Apparently, if you jail, and this is news to me, <clears throat> Richard's gonna run in with an assault shotgun. And I don't need to do a damn thing to the snake. So, with that knowledge, let's go in there. I'm all about preservation of ammo. Not so much preservation of health. Hmm, I'm not too sure which one's more important there. Yes, bin the key. Don't need it in my inventory. Stop taking up space. The snake is called Yawn. Yes, I'll take that. No other wonders are in here. Any other wonders? <gasps> it's yawn! <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Here's the man. The man with the plan. I very much approve of this. I'll take the map, yeah. Just so we can't say I've done anything, I'm gonna shoot him once. Hide behind. Hide behind. Hide. Hide behind you. Can't get me through here again. Oh, there we go. Through the old circuit. Ooh, went for your switch around you. Oh, Richard. Richard, my boy. Thanks. Uh oh. Richard. Richard! He saved me. His sacrifice was, uh. Was good. <clears throat> yeah, well, I think I've got a thing here. I don't need to be here anymore. Oh, yes, I'll take his shotgun, thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Bye bye, Snakey. Bye bye. Don't need to be there anymore. Got the mask. I feel like he could have told me this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, Richard. That's a... Oh, no. Just go past him. Just go past him. Just go past him. Okay, grab this. Okay, grab this. Oh, can't carry that. Oh, well, we'll get that later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, friend. Okay, so now we've got two masks. We need four masks. Let's head down to the um, the room with the with the box. Take stock of what we've got. <clears throat> because. I think there's the raven room to do, which I haven't done yet. So I do that lovely room. I'll get us a crest or, a, or something. No. Put it in. Right, so I've got an assault shotgun, I'm just going to um, run around with the normal shotgun for a bit and just blow holes in things. <clears throat> right, death mask. I wish there was a sort button. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, look at the um, this thing here. Just to confirm, this thing here, the box thing, that said, annoy the sun or something. No. Can't do that. Why would I want to do that? That's just stupid. Okay. Up to the bird room then. Let's try and mentally work out where the bird room is from here. Ah, oh, brilliant! It's out through the door. Oh no. Let's see if you're on the left. Nasty guy there, don't need to worry about him. He's okay in my book. Right then. Oh no. I remember this was like old youngest to oldest or something. 
now. Oh, goodness, didn't mean to do that. It doesn't matter. God, what's the clue? What's the clue? Green, purple, and red. Or orange. No. Green. Purple. No. Need this one orange. Or maybe it's just yellow. Maybe it is yellow. There we go. What's around here? Yep, yep, it all seems good. It all seems very good. Let's just reload, just in case. Just in case those crows aren't as friendly as they originally first seemed. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry birdies. Sorry. Let's go out and see if they attack when I come back in. <clears throat> Hopefully not. I haven't got beef with you. You get back over there. Oh yes, they're, they're fine. They haven't got beef for me anymore. Right, so the crown is grey. Okay, I understand now. The crown is green. Sounds like I'm talking in, in spy code. The crown is green. The necklace is purple. No. You bastard crows. Right, fuck all you. Goodness. What's wrong with these people? You know exactly what they wanted. A green crown. Purple thing. Well, there's a picture there. Let's have a look at that one. Let's have a look at that one. Maybe that'll... That'll engage my brain a bit more. Well, that's that's very useful, very useful indeed. I see. So green crown, purple necklace. <laughs> no, the crown's this one. Got to be the crown. Gotta be. He's green. Green crown. Press that. Purple. Purple do. Oh, wait, maybe. We gotta press it on the other side. Oh, ho, ho, those little tricky bastards. Who this does it? Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Ah, oh. the answers were here all along. Yeah, go on, I'll, I'll play your game, you rogue. There we go. Bye bye. Yeah, I'll take the death mask. That seems pretty good. One more mask left then. Oh, right, okay.
Okay, brains. Brains thinking the cogs are whirring again. See, I'm going to go through here. Again. I think, you know what, I think I might try and headshot this guy here. I might try and headshot. Go for the old headshot. Oh, stealing my jellies. Someone's getting me away. Here we go, here we go. Aim up, aim up, aim up. Oh. There we go. I'm going to deal with the dog while I'm here. Stand down, Captain. Stand down. Okay. There's more than the wind. The wind fish to get through there. Hmm. I don't know where the... The other stuff is then. Don't know that room there. I'll go out that one. Maybe it's. No, I've been to that room. It wasn't there. Hmm. in the kitchen. I never went in the kitchen, did I? <gasps> kitchen. Let's go down the kitchen, see what's down there. Right, let's chuck him right in the face. Right in the face. Right in there, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. That's not gonna that's not gonna go well later. Definitely not. What am I doing? What am I doing? Nothing here, Bobby. No. What's the herbs out there? Mm, get them later, I think. Sounds ominous. Almost like there's something new here to kill me. No. Yeah. <sighs> it's just, I mean, if you think back, well, like, over 10 years, it's got to be over 10 years ago. It was only 15 years ago when this came out. I mean, look at the graphics on it. It's pretty cool. I mean, uh, yeah, this is a HD upgrade, but it's not that much different, really. Not that much different. It's a sublime work of art. And a lot of games as well, like, they try and they tweak too much these days with uh, the core fundamentals. I mean, don't get me wrong, look at it. Look, the controls are awful. Controls are awful, but that's what makes it. The Resident Evil 2 remake was good. I like that. I might do that after this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that happened. God damn. And that, people, is why you burn corpses.
Look at little, little nails. Little wolverine claws. Oh, here we go. A defensive item. Good. Yes. Ammo. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. All looks like really good stuff. Really good stuff in here. Oh, not looking on. <laughs> I've seen this before. I know this one ends. Oh, it doesn't respond to being stabbed. Just you wait. Just you fucking wait. You'll get her. They always get her. Oh, I think. Does a zombie come down the stairs here? Yes. And then he gets up. Oh ho ho. It's all Rosebud coming for me again. It's not Rosebud. To look like. Ah, oh, no, it should have been a been a one shot kill there. Everything's been for naught. We gotta go with that later. On. It's not gonna be good. Definitely not gonna be good. Three masks. Where the hell can the fourth one be? Right, so there's a quest with the snake in the original, got that. There's a quest in the poison room, got that. That quest's got to be used somewhere. Where can the quest be used? So a room on the right over there, but we can't get in that one. So all the red doors there we can't access. Let to see, on the left hand side I've tried to access those ones on the left and those, yes, and those ones on the right. Well, sorry, the ones, huh. Where am I now? Hmm. What's that one there then? Oh yes, yes, I can't access that one there. I can't access any of them then. I must have everything I need. Must have it. So confused. Where else could it be then? Ah, oh, it's gonna annoy me. Into the snake room, been all the way through the snake room. Right? Been all the way down to where Forest was. I don't think I picked up everything there though. That's fine. It's not the room on the right because when you go over there, that's where you fight Yawn again later. There'd be one, I've been down there. That indicates I can. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the. Right, let's go put the mask that I've got now in there. Because I've already got that one. May as well make use of it. Free up a slot.
Where am I going? Where am I going? What was over here? Yes, this was this area. So down this way. Really nice looking place this. Really nice. Nothing sketchy to see here. Of course, this is what scientists need, isn't it? Rooms with a... Can I fit that? Brilliant. There we go, there's one chain gone. Definitely four max. And I think I've only got two others. And a wind crest. Let's not forget the wind crest. What's life without a wind crest? <laughs> Look at the back indoors, it's a bit chilly out here. Let's go all the way around again. <laughs> I'm sure there are faster ways, but... Yeah, there was a fast way going upstairs. It doesn't matter. We're committed now. Progress, real progress. Let's see if the zomboid's gonna get up. No, he's not up yet. Not up yet. Still time to burn him. No. They want to come this way. What an idiot hole. Oh, this was the other side. Oh my god. Right, anyway. Let's get in here. <clears throat> right, let's get the fuel canteen. I guess you burn things. Another mask. No other mask. It's the wind press. I'm sure the jewelry box and the wind press have to. Is there a button on here to press? Yes. No. You Bella. You got all the masks. All the masks. Okay. Put it back in there. Take the death mask. Put it back there. Too risky with that. Put it back as well. We're going to need to just go a uh, little crazy mode for a minute. No, I don't want all of them actually. No, that's too dangerous. I'm going to need the lighter. Right, yes, let's run through, burn the zombie, put the two masks in, go to the other side. Yes, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Then we'll save on the other side, then we'll go fight the nasties. Yes. Love it when a plan comes together. But I don't want to go through there now. And I'll get you through there now. I'll go back through and burn him. I know it's long winded, I know. Kicking myself, but I can't risk that door handle falling off right now. Might need it later. Right, nothing here. It's in there. Is 
as good as has burned the body. Burn him. Burn him good. Weekend at Bernie's. And once he's done, we'll um, go through, put the two masks in, run to the other side of the house, which I thought I was going to at that time. Get the other mask, get the guns, save, go down to the thing. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah, because we haven't been through this corridor now. We haven't been through enough yet. Nope. It's amazing when you're watching the speedrunners like um, Carcinogen and some of the other ones. They're so quick and precise. Hope he's still dead. Please still be dead. Yes. Hey. Ooh. Well. Hmm. Guess we're running. Run, 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 run. Run 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 Do that Well that plan went to shit didn't it? Went to shit very quickly that I feel like there's uh There's no way to salvage that situation there. That's forever gonna be a shit storm way to happen. But don't worry, when hunters arrive, surely that's not gonna cause me any more issues, is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Keep it together. Keep it together. Right, outside. Right, here we go. No, no. There's also a game on um, Steam at the moment in early access, which it looks a lot like this. Um, it's got both over the shoulder, I think, and tank control views. Can't remember the life of me the name of it. I'll figure it out in a minute. And, but you know. Let me go read the three things. Let's just put stuff on. There we go, a bit of blood on the screen there. This is what scientists do, you know. They they hang coffins up full of blood and stuff. What scientists do. What? Okay. We will use this one then. So that's what they do. They keep bloody things in um in coffins, in dank dungeons. That's what scientists do. They they're not there about like gene manipulation and <clears throat> creating viruses. No, no, that's that's just a side gig. The main gig. It's hanging coffins up. Let's see, that's the work of the, the crazy guy at Capcom that they, they occasionally bring in. And I'm sure that the rest of the team are like, oh god, he's at it again. I wish someone would just stop him. But they, they I don't know, maybe they've got to reach a, a certain quota or something and they've just brought him in and he's not the best, but you just got to look past those problems. <laughs> I mean, later Resident Evil games, especially Resident Evil 6, I think he was just running the show then. It was just clown shoes from start to finish. It was a special level of crazy, that was. Come into view. This guy is a 
tank. My goodness. He was ever going to go down. He's about to get back up as well. Now he's down looking. Now he's got the true death. No more problems with you, son. What happened here? The description as well, just little touches. We can see there's a there's a kind of sleep, but it just ah, oh, it just adds to it when when you read it. What was it here? Oh, more kerosene. That's on the desk. That's no bit. That's up there. No. That's down there. I might just go and kill a zombie upstairs as well if there is one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Shotgun time. <laughs> Shotgun. Because there is no way that guy's head is leaving his body without advanced firepower. Let's be honest here. If I shotgun him, and I, uh, so let's, let's save, yeah, let's save here. Yeah. Save at this point. Eleven ink ribbons. Eleven of them. Can't oh, move for ink ribbons. Not even Stephen King could use up this much trying about. Yes, number eight. This was another, another... Pioneering thing at the time. <clears throat> Making saves a commodity. Ah, oh, just takes me back. Special days. I think I'm going to take that with me and, um, and some of the Sid ones. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the head. And then I'm gonna go back and uh miss them. And see what happens. Come on. Dead mate, you dead mate. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Good job, team. Good job. Right. Oh, that's another one here. Let's get him down. Come on. I'm good all day. He's blind, doesn't know where he's going. He's dead, okay. <clears throat> I think I'll burn him.
That should be fine. If I, if I need more than 12 shots on the boss, things have gone seriously wrong. I mean, like, seriously wrong. What's that answer? Is it a key coded door? I haven't been in this one. Of course there would be. Of course there would be. Of course, that's that's the ah, right, and that leads me around the other way. At least that's a shortcut unlock. That's promising. Right, so on the pass through now, I can top up the flask. Thinking maybe I should have brought some more herbs, but they look dangerously. Is a dead body down here? No. Oh, there was herbs in here. Yes, there was. Yes, sirree. Oh. Lastly, you were a hero. Yes, I'll take that. Combine with that. I'll take another one just in case. Yeah, I'll take that. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. This is gonna, this is gonna go well. That's the only way it can go well. Let's start with the, the acid ones. Move on to the other ones if things get dire. Here we go. Worst case, I die. Best case, he dies. And I've still got ammo left. Probable case, I waste a lot of ammo and he dies and I'm half dead. Oh god, it's necessary. Put it on. Put it on him. Here we go. Of course, I think I need to go over and open it. Well, I don't remember that shotgun I've been there before. Scientists do this as well. Look at him, look at him, he's thirsty for blood. Look at him, he's thirsty. Oh, he's a thirsty! Oh, he's thirsty. Is he dead? No, of course he's not. Oh, he's a thirsty one. Is that it? Did I kill him? Is that it? 
We need to burn him. Don't need to turn back. We have burn him. Don't want him to turn back. Doubly powerful. I'll take the shotgun shells, why not? What's he carrying in there? Oh, I really wish I could carry that. Really wish I could. Really not. <clears throat> yeah, I should have taken that shotgun ammo. Oh well. That's why it's just a just an extra jaw. Ooh. Did you hear that? Sounds like things are gonna things are gonna start going bump in the night now. Really hope it's not Hugo's bump. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This one. Internal conflict there. Do I get no? It's this way. You silly goose. Went um, far beyond my expectations. Oh, wait. The guy in the, the kitchen. Did I blow his head off? Hold on, there's I've got the canteen on me. Should I do a little little house call? Like a nurse. Bit of a nurse having a house call. Knock knock. Is everyone okay? Oh my god, that's sick! Lose any. It's not necessary. Of course, it's not necessary because he's already alive. That's right. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We've got, we've got ordnance. We have options here. Actually, not just care. Okay. Let's let's just head back in there and say hello to the rocket launcher, the grenade launcher. Even. Come on, mate. Go on. Oh, you total anus! Is that it? You're dead now? Proper dead? Real dead. He's real. We'll use that. Now we can go pick up the thing from the thing. I love it when a plan comes together. You know what? I'm gonna do a public service. I'm gonna go take out the other guy as well. <clears throat> the guy in the um and the other one. On the other side. Because he's turned as well. Later on, I don't wanna have to don't have to deal with them, to be honest. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure when I first played it, this didn't start happening until um, I got back from the guardhouse. And the hunters were there and all the zombies were coming back and I was like, oh no, I should have dealt with them. But this time, they're, um, they're coming back and I haven't even left the house yet. Is he gonna be in here? I mean, he's gonna be—he's gonna be pissed. We know he's gonna be pissed. Ooh! 
Ooh. I'm up. Him right at right at the right time. Welcome to the pod now. Get back up. Get back up if you gotta get back up. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Ah oh, my goodness. Okay, Christ of it. Let's get out of here. Um Yes, let's leave. Milo a twofa. Buy one get one free. You remember as well. I don't know how much you two got on last time. Like a house that is literally on fire. I don't know why that, that idea makes sense. It, it really doesn't. I've done yawn. He's out of the way. He, um, he took Richard with him. But don't worry about that. Richard's a... He's going to be fine. He knows how to handle himself. And he's got some serum in him already. So... Snake can't kill him again. Shadows always die twice. Right, so let's go back out here now. Have a save forever. Well done! Owl down. Apparently you can kill the owl again. We'll fight him again. Um, I might have to go do that. It's easy to easy clap, is it? What what's so easy about the second time? Nothing on this. It starts to be my way out. Ugh. Yes, yes, this is the remake. Oh, is it? Second time's the worst. <laughs> oh well. That's the worst that could happen. I might give him a go later. He can't be any harder than the two um, samurai dudes who had to fight together, or the sword saint. Probably as hard as the sword saint. Oh yeah, this has been outrageous. I originally played this on the GameCube. I've got it still upstairs somewhere. The original GameCube version. And my GameCube. Um, but Mo Strongarm in the chat, he started playing through this. He's playing through all of them for, for Halloween. Oh, I don't know. fancy doing that myself. So here I am. Um, right, I'm having a moment. Which way is it? This way. Gotta be this way. Is it this way? Yeah, gotta be. Oh, you know what? There's actually a shortcut as well. There's actually a shortcut. But it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like Resident Evil 7. Yeah, I played a lot of that. Resident Evil 7 for me was a, a return to form. Resident Evil 4 was it, was... it was good, but it was different, and... I think the Resident Evil 4 was a nice kind of diversion. I'm not sure if Resident Evil 4 should have been like the main focus. Because Resident Evil 5 was going downhill a bit. It was okay in co-op, but it, it wasn't the best of games. And then Resident Evil 6, wow, that was that was just pure rubbish. But 7, they, they proper... Oh, 7 was good. Old Jackie boy. Oh, oh. They, they brought it back there. Right then, round here. See, shortcut would have brought me through that other door there, but it doesn't matter. I'm taking the long way around the scenic route. I'll show you the sights. Yeah, I mean these days it's um, it's a bit janky, and the the mechanics aren't the best, but. There is a solid game under here, and I was saying earlier on the they had the chance when they did this remake to change a lot of the the, the camera angles, the controls. They they could have changed an awful lot of this. They didn't, and that's that's a great thing for me here. Is it? I don't get me wrong, it's awfully sketchy, but it just adds to the to the survival horror aspect. It's hard to have a true survival horror without bad camera angles and and 
little ammo and stuff like that. Yeah, shit controls. But it works. This is Brad. Can you hear me? Just give me a sign. Just give me a sign. This is why I say to the ghosts in Phasmophobia. Can you hear me? Can you chin the sink? Shit. It's broken. Shirley. Shirley, it's me, you boy. Right, let's go. Oh. Doggeroonies. Let's go get ourselves into a corner over here. Oh, didn't know there was that many. Did not know there was that many. Stab him in the head. Stab him in the head till he's dead. Looks like we're bringing out the bazooka again. Shazam! Well, I took care of them. Oh, one second, I am acquired somewhere else. <laughs> well, that was a bit overkill for some doggeroonies, but doesn't matter. Oh, there's snakes here. Snacks. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, no, Milo. I can't believe you've gone back to Sakira after I've picked up Resident Evil to play with you, Mo. So I'll play with my buddy Mo. Look at that super cool guy who I, who I really adore. My role model. Definitely a beard role model. 100%. That beard is a, it's a thing of beauty. Right, so I've obviously missed the crank somewhere. Pretty sure it was in that room. I couldn't see it. Strong arm steady. He's Mo, but he, he goes by strong arm steady. All war. Um. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's a uh, definitely, definitely kind of role model. You should see his beard. Oh, it's silky smooth. Sorry, I'm being totally sarcastic. He knows this, and he's seething. Oh, he hates it. But um, but he's just getting mouth off of me like he always does. There's gotta be a crank somewhere. I'm not being sarcastic about his beard though. His beard is is divine. Why can't I get over there? Ah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little taser thing. Give me the, give me the taser. Give me the give me the taser. No state thing. Don't really need it, but I'll take it, why not? And um, what's in the box? Okay, what's happening there? Oh yeah, it's tripped down memory lane here. You see this? No. This wasn't in the original, was it? This wasn't in there. Uh oh. No, I'm not gonna press that again. Barry? It's Barry! James. Um, well, uh, did you play the original at all? Do you play the like the non remake, the original original Resident Evil? If not, I can I can give you an overview of the story. It's it's not gonna hit. right. Okay, so Oof. it starts off with um. Sure, let's press this on. Let's press that. Um, it starts off the there's been a load of murders in this town called uh, Raccoon City, and these you see stars just about on the back there. Star stars. That's a special tactics and recon squad, I think, and um, they basically go in and um, oh rubbish. Uh, so these stars people are like the, kind of the SWAT team, and there's been all these murders, and they think that the murders um, 
they've triangulated something and they're coming from this mountain area. So they get up in a chop and they go to the mountain and they see there's a crash chopper there from one of their other squads. It's like, right, okay, so they go down to the other... Ch the other um... Ah, I wanted east. Ah, I wish I wanted east. Oh, no, that's, that's perfect. That's actually what I want. Anyway, so you see this, so you see this other chop and it's crashed and they're like, right, okay, we'll go down, we'll go down, we'll look and we'll see what the hell's happened. And they go down there and all shit goes wrong. There's there's dogs jumping at people. There's uh there's there's people getting mauled and stuff. So they run into this um they run into this mansion that they find. And they're in the mansion, but they've all split up and like, oh god, what are we gonna do? We've gotta regroup. So Oh no. No, not this one. This is a new one though, this wasn't in the original. Um and yeah, so they're all trying to, to work out what's going on. That's when they're in the mansion. So, Triss and Jill have got separate stories. But effectively, in Jill's one, let's say, for those who are playing Jill, he's gone in with Barry, who's one of her friends, and he's fairly trustworthy, and Wesker, who's like the captain of the squad. And, um... Sorry, I'm just on edge, because I can't remember what happened around here. No, I don't want to take that now. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're police, but these guys are like, these are like the SWAT team for the police. They're like the best of Raccoon City's police squad. That's why they've got knives and all this other stuff. Um, so they've, they've ended up coming to this mansion, like, right, okay, we'll, we'll explore the mansion. As they explore the mansion, they find some of their other teammates from the first squad, and some of them have been eaten by zombies, and they meet these zombies, and it's all obviously a bit chaotic. So they're like, well... We don't know what's happened, and everything seems to start vanishing. So Barry's gone off somewhere, Wesker's vanished, Chris has vanished, and nobody really knows what's going on. So at this point, they um, they basically decide, right, okay, well, we just have to try and get through here. So um, Jill at the moment, I guess, stop running around. Yeah, Wes Wesker seems a bit sus. -like. It's his hair, I think. So um. Anyway, the, the, Jill's trying to survive, and as she's going through, she's she's realising, oh, there's lots of zombies here. And if you look at the memos, um, the memos talk about a lab. So uh, there was some research happening here at this mansion, but you don't know what the research is. Um, but something got released, uh, and the, the, basically there's a details of one guy who, um, who ended up turning into a zombie. And he details how he was getting itchy and he was got blisters and things and a bit of his arm fell off. And then he yeah, this guy called Scott. We talked about that yesterday. There was a there was a brief uh, actually I'll find it for you. One minute, one minute. No, that's not the link. That's not the link, you silly thing. Copy link. There we go. So that that's that's the memo I'm talking about from yesterday. Apparently, that's the first time you get a memo of a guy who tells you basically what the events were. And he's like, oh, well, I was playing poker and then shit got released and then people started going crazy in hazmat suits. So anyway, so it's apparent that there's a lab here somewhere. We haven't found that yet in the game as Jill, but we will do later. Um, but we've also noticed that there's, there's uh, like, mutant dogs. There's uh, people who've died here are now becoming zombies. There's uh, the crows have gone a bit crazy. There's also other zombies, and we've also realised that the zombies come back to life when they die, but we can kill them a second time. Um, but as you go through the game, you end up finding out that there is a lab here, and you're down to the lab, and you end up finding out that there's a. Uh, they were doing all manner of research on bioweapons, and I'll leave it at that for now, because um, the rest of it contains spoilers. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Ultimately, there's there's a there's a thing called Umbrella, and Umbrella are a bad company, and they're they're making lots of bioweapons. That's the gist of it. There's a bit more to it, but I mean, the the game isn't that long, to be honest. You can probably get through the majority of it in um, about five or six hours if you're semi competent. If you like me, it'll probably take slightly longer, but you can do it. Um, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna be using that for now. Let's see that, because I don't I don't know what that's used for, and I'm worried that I'm gonna need that. Take a green one, put that one in. Let's hit the knife again. Oh, it, it, they're two different different genres of games. I mean, this game is is spooky enough, but it's it's less. It's more the tension of knowing you're running low on ammo and and other bad stuffs happening. And um, oh, there we go, the crank. Yes, I'll take the crank. Because this is part puzzle game, part action, but with like that. We just heard the door go. That that's bad. That's very bad. I'll go into that. The music in this game is phenomenal. And there's actually some controversy over it as well because the uh Oh Uh oh. The guy who did the music originally wasn't actually the guy who did the music. He was he was like everybody was like, Oh my god, this guy did the music, he's he's like some sort of genius, but actually it was a, a shadow musician person, whatever they're called. And um No point shooting her. And to be honest, she's actually a fairly nice person. It's it's a bit sad what happened to her. Um, <clears throat> we'll see her again later. And I'll take that, I'll use that again, and then I'll play the other one. Yeah, so the, the, the composer guy, it was actually another guy who was just like a nameless composer who made the music for this, but he didn't get any credit for it and it came to light that actually this other guy had made all the music and not the main guy who was taking all the credit for it. And yeah, he got a punter data Capcom or something, I think. Or wherever he was working. Yeah, yeah, for the, ooh, God, yes. It's, uh, it's a virus called the T-Virus. And in later Resident Evil games, there's other viruses. So, um... In Resident Evil 2, it's the G-Virus, which they use. And the reason why I'm avoiding certain zombies as well is because, like I said, so, some zombies will get back up when you killed them. Not right away, but at some point they will get back up, and they become twice as hard. So if possible, it's better to avoid them. So this virus, this T-Virus thing, got released. Yeah, it saves ammo as well. And as you go through, you'll realise that they're actually experimenting on more than just... Well, they didn't make experiment on zom on people such. That was just a, a happy coincidence when they unleashed it. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so is this the wind one? Yeah, so let's put the wind one in. Oh, get off, you silly crow! This is this is perfect. I couldn't have planned this any better. <laughs> Let's examine these. Oh, that one? So, oh, actually, let me just see that. Yes. So the puzzle element of this is obviously um, you're trying to survive and get your way out of the mansion, but it, it, just, it just gets harder and harder. I mean, it starts off with zombies, but later on other research specimens start escaping, and um, yeah, bad stuff starts happening. I was pretty good at the original though, uh, I used to play that quite a lot, 
and I managed to complete in I think it was just about two hours or just under two hours I think um Oh, no! Oh, God! The Magnum! See, and this is what scientists do. They, they place Magnums in gravestones. And they have, um... Coffins. Which have chains in. Which need masks to open. This is what scientists do. Not regular Joes. You need to be a scientist to be able to come up with this, this sort of elaborate thing. Well, the Umbrella Corp Dumo, that's who. This is why in the in the original one, it was slightly more grounded in uh, reality. I mean, like, when you watch a B-movie and you're like, oh, this is a bit silly. But you can suspend disbelief for the most part and go, oh, well, it's close enough to reality. I can imagine that something like this could happen. But in this one, it's just, they've gone a bit too far off on the gothic spectrum, I think. And some reason was lost along the way, but... It's still a, a majestic recreation of the first. Because th that's the thing, that the meat and potato, the thing that really made the first great is still here. The core of it's still here, untouched. They just put a nice, nice veneer on it and slapped it out the door. I mean, <laughs> like in this one, the, the boss I just did before, I'm not sure if you were here when I did it, I had to go and there was this floating coffin which I had to get four masks from the house, put the four masks on the thing, then all these chains came out of the coffin, the coffin fell on the floor, and there was a nasty zombie guy inside there. And you're like, what? what? And it was, oh, and it was in a creepy cellar underneath a cemetery, and you're like, well, what? What logic would be needed for. I mean, how did they justify that to the finance team? I mean, was was there like a director's meeting where they look got this sweet idea for a, for a spooky basement underneath the cemetery? And it only cost us a couple of mil, only a couple of mil. That's all we need. I mean, Umbrella were probably printing money at this point with this T virus, which nobody's apparently bought or used anywhere. But um, yeah, they must have um, they must have passed that. And HR was okay with it. I don't know who they put in there to start with, because obviously they must have had a zombie to put into this coffin before everything went wrong. I, I can't see it being like a last minute thing that they just set up on a whim. So, uh, yeah, there's... Oh, no, can't go through there. Need a battery. Uh, there is a way through here to a guardhouse somewhere, I think. Somewhere. Somewhere. Where's the guardhouse? There we go, maybe it's Santa. Did I come in this way? Where am I? No, I didn't, I didn't. Yes, I did, I played Silent Hill 1. I don't remember much of it, because I only played that a couple of times. Because I didn't have that as a friend. Um, but yeah, I've played that for a bit. And no, Mo, my internet isn't down. Um, I don't know when you asked that. Oh, you literally just asked it now. No, my internet's not down. I'll just respond in Discord, though. No. Um, yeah, I played Silent Hill 1, and I think I got the, the bad ending when I first played it. But it was very good. Because, again, this, this, this kind of... I want to say this was one of the first ones that kind of did this. But Alone in the Dark came before this. And Alone in the Dark was really, the, in my eyes, the progenitor of this sort of style of game. Because that brought together the whole... The, the fixed camera angle, the 3D system, the moving around and shooting. It was far more clunky than this. But um, I think that was the first of this sort of thing. Well, that doesn't bode well, does it? Yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> definitely. I mean, I grew up with these things. I mean, I remember, I must have been about five or six, and... Um, a family member had a an old Atari, and uh, they had uh, it was it was some text based adventure game, but it was really poorly done, like pseudo three D, and it was like you're in a house, there's a knife on the table and stuff, and I remember that being pretty spooky. But that's the thing back then that was like groundbreaking graphics. These days, unless it's in like four K, one hundred twenty frames per second with HDR and stuff, and like gores coming out of 
doorways and stuff. Nobody cares. Nobody's got time for that anymore. Whereas, I think there's always going to be an element of nostalgia, especially with this one. Because, I mean, like I said, I, I, I played the original Resident Evil so many times. And with different friends as well. I had a friend, Gaz, who originally... I remember the PlayStation first came out and I... I didn't even really know about the PlayStation. A friend of mine said, oh, I've got this console called PlayStation. Come on and try it, it's really good. And I went around and my, my brain was just blown by like how amazing it was. And um, yeah, then a year or two later, I remember a friend of mine saying, oh, I've got this uh, this game Resident Evil, you want to give it a look? <laughs> I was just blown away. Because it was, I'd seen Alone in the Dark, but I'd never really played it. And this just streamlined everything that was great about it. Oh yeah, the It movie. I only watched part of that because I it freaked me out when I was young. I was never good with horror when I was younger. I remember watching Chucky and Amateurville and all that stuff and Oh my goodness, it was awful. My friend would be laughing while I would be cowering away. I don't wanna watch this anymore. Yeah, and another friend of mine, because I, I played around with my friend's house guard and I, I completed like several times because there's, there's multiple endings in this as well. And, um. Oh, was, you might think, why is there a box here? Inside a knowledge. There's actually um, a nasty little plant thing which is going to try and pop up from that hole there and try and eat me. So if I put this over that hole, it's not going to get me. Yeah, so. My friend Gaz had played it in that but it's a brilliant game and I said to one of my other friends, hey, um, you want to get on this? And we went round to, um, I'm feeling like deja vu, maybe I've already told this story. But anyway, I'll carry on. It's a great story. So I went round to my friend's house. Well, it was actually his sister's house. In the, oh goodness. And um... And uh, it was in a place called Conway, which is a really old really old part of Wales. Cobblestones, they've got a castle there and everything. And the her house was like out in the middle of nowhere. Well it was there were other houses, but it was really it was backing onto like a forest. Oh maybe forest is a strong way, but it was definitely some woodland. And uh we <laughs> we went around there and we, we were playing it in the games room which was effectively like a, a pseudo conservatory sort of room. Which just kind of packed on, literally the back garden was just some grass with trees at the back. Which was just part of this forest thing. And I remember we were, we were sat there at like 3am playing this game, the original. And um, oh wow, it was... I mean I knew nothing was going to come out of the woods, I knew it wasn't real but it was still very creepy. I don't even think we had a memory card back then either. Oh, you see how he's, she's locking on? In the sink there. No, don't spit at me. Don't spit at me. Come on. Come on, come get me. That's it, that's it. Up we go, up we go. <gasps> don't climb over then. Come on, just do it. Just fucking do it. You lazy bastard. Come on. The camera angles which kill me here because I can't I can't actually see down there. Right, there we go, I know we're shooting it now. Yeah, but I think we got to plant forty two, which is actually the bot in here when we died. Oh yeah. The PlayStation era was just oh it was for me it was the pinnacle of gaming. It was so many genres, the, the, the JRPGs, the, the, the platforming games, um, I mean they even started blending things, like platforming RPGs have been kind of dabbled with, with um, Zelda 2, but oh wow, like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, that was a masterpiece. Chrono Cross, that was another masterpiece, there were so many games which were just, they were so ahead of their time. On the um the PlayStation, and there's so much variety as well. You you don't really get that anymore. It's all kind of streamlined, homogenized, 
Kind of this cell as well. Let's get that out the door. Oh, I'm going to need to put stuff in the in the treasure chest. Um, Resident Evil One will probably forever the original, not the remake. The remake is very good. It's brilliant. Best remake of anything. Resident Evil Two remake very very good as well. But that's that's gone down a slightly different avenue to this. But um. Yeah, Resident Evil 1 was probably my favourite Resident Evil game. Just, again, because of the nostalgia, if I was to play it now, and I, I played the other ones, I'd probably be like, it's not that great. Whereas I have played that one first, it's got so many good memories associated. Is that a Final Fantasy? I had played some of the other Final Fantasy games, but not much, but Final Fantasy 7 was the one that really kind of cemented the series for me. And, um, <coughs> yeah, that was brilliant. And again, it's in the PlayStation. And Symphony of the Night. That's that's a brilliant game. Castlevania Symphony of the Night, hands down the best platforming JRPG. I mean, it solidified the Metroidvania. Um, sorry, I need to blow my nose, I guess. Sneeze everywhere. Yeah, well, the remake, I think, the remake looks very good, but I think they've lost some of the, some of what made the original one special. I mean, Square for a while, I think, has been drifting off. I mean, there, there was a point where they were bang on the money. In terms of the best, I'm not sure if it's, I mean, for me, it's the best, but I can understand other people's, like, Final Fantasy VI, which was the one before that with Kefka and things. That's a very good one. Very good, especially given it was on the snares. <laughs> I mean, think of the power of the snares, and that had um, that was a really good one. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII was a bit of a dark horse, and Final Fantasy XII. Actually, I really like Final Fantasy XII, but a lot of people tell you that's probably one of the worst ones. Well, no, they won't. They'll tell you thirteen's the worst one. I think all of us, all Final Fantasy fans, can agree that thirteen was the worst. Okay, so I'm going to need to do the pictures. Um, right, I'm sure this thing through the pool table. Two, three, four, five, six. Blue, purple, green, red, and orange. That's like it then. Ah, oh, yeah, Final Fantasy 13, any of them are just dog shit. I mean, the 13 2, is that Lightning Returns? I don't think that's as bad. But it's just not really great. I'm just gonna light them all here. Yeah, my wife, she refuses to play any um, Final Fantasy games. But the one time she thought, oh yeah, I'll, I'll dabble my, my feet in this Final Fantasy pool. 13 was the one she picked. And I said to her from the get go, this is a pile of shit. See you later, Mo. Um, it was awful. And she was just having none of it. She was like, oh, this is okay. And then she didn't play any after that. So red was two. Green had nothing I feel like this there's something really profound here that I'm supposed to be understanding let's got three three six
more momentum. Green, red, what's the other one? Orange, three, four, five. Yo, oh, yeah, definitely that's, I mean, a lot of the games that I, I mean, I still like playing old Mega Drive games and things. Because there's, oh, goodness. An ass. Just to jump over. Um, yeah, because there's, there's there's memories attached to them, isn't there? I mean, it's easy enough to. These days, I'll pick up a game and I'll play, it and there's no memories. It's just a case of well, I'm just playing the game. It's it's fun enough. But those ones back then in childhood, there's 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 tangible kind of feelings associated with them. So when you pick them up, it's like you you're getting a little bit of your childhood back. Um, yes, kind of. You see where it says fine and the little green graphs going? You got fine, caution, and danger. Um, there's various stages of caution. But effectively, if you're in orange, you use your herbs. <laughs> well, I think the games are. Games have evolved. I just don't. <sighs> They've evolved so rapidly. I mean, if I look back when I was a kid, like. I had a Commodore 64 and an old Atari and things, and Dig Dug was was a popular game. And I remember thinking, well, this is pretty good. But then, as everything was evolving with us, I mean, like, the internet hadn't even come out yet, and then there's there's Mega Drives, there's NESs, there's SNESs, and everything's coming out, and graphics are getting better and better, but they're incrementally getting a bit better every time. And then when the PlayStation came out, the PlayStation 2 leap, it was like, wow, graphics are really gotten better but then i think for me the disconnect which i find with games now is that graphics started to become the focus it wasn't about like the gameplay mechanics and stuff as much then i mean it is still to some extent because obviously you'll have certain games like assassin's creed for example that's that's got quite a lot of mechanics going on there and it's it's quite an interesting game but the the majority of the resources in game development are spent on getting the graphics looking good and then it's like, well, okay, then we're going to get big name voice actors and uh, body doubles and things like that. So you've got likenesses of people. And a very little of it actually seems to go on the storyline. To me, this is where I think Square's, Square Enix has lost its way. Because back with the early Final Fantasies, because graphics could only be pushed so far, you had to rely on the story and the characters driving the game and making the character want to progress. Well, the, the player want to progress. But these days now, they've kind of gone, well... Actually, people don't really care. They just want to play fancy-looking shit. So they've just made games which look nice. And um, that's pretty much it. A lot of games look nice, but there's nothing much to them. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, they milk that like, like a cash cow. Just... It was like an assassin. There was more, multiple Assassin's Creeds coming out per year. This is Barry and Wesker, by the way, having a little moment. And this is where you realise, oh, I can't trust them. Great. Don't want the bees. Not the bees! Okay, I played the first few Assassin's Creed's. Um, that was good. Gary, I heard um, talking. Assassin's Creed 2 oh, and the third one was okay, but I really like the angle they were going with, with the whole... Um, talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. The whole... Aliens sort of thing. It was good. And religion aspect. I'm getting you worried, aren't I? Yeah, it's just gone nuts. I guess this creepy man. 
expansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway. Barry's one of the best characters in this. For a change. He's a great guy. And you think, oh, maybe he's turning, maybe he's been a bad guy here. But he's, um, his daughter's actually been held hostage somewhere. So he's a good father. But that might be the one I played. Is that the one saying Constantinople? Not Istanbul. Because it was Constantinople back then. I was in. I know the Ezio ones in Italy. I remember playing that one. I played the one after Ezio. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. I've done the uh, Ezio then. That was quite good. I think the second one was where they really refined the system and it really worked well. The one with um, Connor, I didn't like that one much. I kind of gave up at that point. I think there was, uh, oh, what was it called? Black Sails or something like that. That's supposed to be quite a good one. Assassin's Creed Pirate Simulator. Um, I think I've got that, but I've never played it. But again, I, once I played one of them, I was like, they're that long. I mean, I've got the Shadows of Mordor game and Shadows of War, and they're good. I enjoy them, but uh, I don't know. They're like a burger. You don't want a burger for tea every night. But when you do have a burger, you're like, oh, this is, this is delicious. Glad I'm eating a burger right now. Then once you finish it, you're like, yeah, I don't want a burger for a while. And that's, that's what those sort of games are like for me. I'll play it once or twice, and I'm like, wow, amazing. For six hours, and I'll just never play again for a year. There's so many like demographics for games to target these days. I mean, back when I was getting, you had like platformers, you had a few RPGs, and um, action. That was pretty much your bag to start with. So really these days, it's like now FIFA's become a thing. Oh, the next FIFA game is FIFA, 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 and um. Yeah, there's loads of people who who, all, who want all these different genres of games, and they're, they're trying to make all manner of games, aren't they, now? Oh, fine. Oh, good. I feel like maybe I should have saved or something. Yeah, I mean, with Humble Bundle and Steam and things, this become even worse because you just get that many games. I mean, I've probably got like over a thousand games in my Steam library, and I'm not joking. Literally over a thousand. Ooh! Ooh, it's a shark! Ooh, it's a shark. Can I shoot them? Yeah, let's shoot them. I don't think I care. I don't think it cares. Laser sharks. Get the higher ground, Jill. The higher ground, Jill. There we go. She's grabbing her wrist. That means that we, we should really be using her there. The horse is locked. Ah. Come at me, bro. Are you two finished doing whatever you're doing then? Oh god, no, I'm pissing my way. Amazing. I don't need to know anymore. You you stop at that point, really. Anything he says makes it sound rude. I mean, what was it the other day? Um. Butting you up, that was it. Classic role. Oh, so Milo, Mad Nick is one of the other guys who's in quite a lot of the other videos. He's Rolf. 
and Lipstick Dream is his wife, um, and she's the Twitch consultant. She advises on all Twitch and social media related matters. Oh, there's a door there. His real name isn't Wealth. We just... Wow. That's, you shouldn't be saying those sorts of things, Kirsty. That is... I mean, some of what Wolf says can be taken out of context. But that one is... It's almost impossible to put in context. But, um... Something special, huh? I'll get away. Oh, yes, yes. They're expecting a baby, hence the creaming. It's probably coconut butter. I think I'm gonna die here. I think this is gonna be my watery grave. Look at this bad boy! Look at him! Jaws ain't got shit on this guy. I feel like I've taken a wrong turning somewhere. I've been here. This did not leave me anywhere good. At least I saved in this building. I take solace in that fact. All the teeth. So many teeth. Is there anything around this bit? No, just that. Just that. Just kill me. Just fucking do it. Eat my leg. Thank you. Thank you. No, I know of it though. And I would not want to be anywhere near that. Certain places you shouldn't put things. And, um. That teeth hole is definitely one of the things. Boy, that like the plague. Right. Back to um resident storehouse. Well, I, I haven't seen it, so... If it has shown something, that... I mean, these days, you probably expect it to. Like, oh, you gotta, gotta show them a fanny with teeth. Ah, oh, the viewers will love it. The gazillions will come rolling in. Me, 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 I saw a fanny with teeth in the film. Gotta go watch it. Amazing. Um, I honestly don't know what to do here. Right, the code was three, three, four, five, I think. I guess now I should be honoured here that you guys have gone to bed and decided, hey, uh, let's go watch Lee. Or is this you saying that I'm boring enough to put you to sleep? One of um, one of Gooch's friends who watches his streams, Jack, he um, he likes to watch Gooch and fall asleep watching him. No, no, no! Shut it down, Spider-Man! Oh, you total ass! I'm not poisoned, that's fine. That's fine. Let me go for this. Well, you just missed me just going off on a mad one about, um, about the PlayStation era. Is there anything upstairs? <laughs> no. Rubbish. You're looking forward to seven days to die tomorrow, Rolf? 
Assuming it doesn't get cancelled. You didn't really play PlayStation games though, did you? Yes, yes, I've known Rolf since college. He was one of the first people I met at college. And he actually lives five minutes down the road from me. Oh, actually, let me bring these in the, in the treasure chest. Yeah, but if we do play games together, we don't that, that many times. Well, I say in person. We used to do playthroughs where we'd all go around to somebody's house and pick a game and play it all weekend until we completed it. Then Rolf used to come around for them. But um, these days, we, we don't have time for that, so we mainly just play online together. Land Knights, well, that goes back a bit. I mean, you go back even further and go back to the uh, new media days. Back when we used to uh, used to take over the shop for a whole night. Yep, COVID, does, COVID doesn't take any prisoners. COVID or bust. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ironically, um, out of all of our friends, I've got two kids, and um, scheduling is never really a problem for me. <laughs> it's when I ask my friends who don't have kids, hey, what days are you free? They're never free. And I'm like, how are you never free? I have kids, and I'm I'm... Far more free than you guys are. And that's not because I'm neglectful as a father. I just um I just try not to take too much time off until I need to. He does now, he never used to. But we never really used to schedule Rolf in. He was just kinda like a, a happy a happy bonus if he came along. That's it, prioritizing. Work smart, not hard. What about my family? This is one of the good things about streaming. It's almost like a playthrough. I get, come on, play the game that I like. Chat to some people. Who hopefully also like the games that I like. Jill. No, I didn't save by the charts, I saved before then, but it's fine. I think there was another door near the sharks and I probably shouldn't have gone into the shark area yet. Uh oh. Oh, what's that? Yes, I'll take the key, thank you. Brilliant. Just what I needed. For the sake. Stab in the head. Stab in the head. There we go. Crisis averted, people. Don't worry. I know, I know. Poor Gooch. So there's there's another... I keep calling him Gooch, but there's a guy... Um, I'll, 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 see, I'll do him a favour. Let me pause. So do not kill. Let's get his little twitch up, his little twitcheroo. Is that him? That's him. Or is this guy here? Yeah, him. That guy. So he's another real life friend who um who I I've worked with on occasion. And then while I was working with him, he said, Oh, I really fancy doing this whole Twitch thing. Well he's he's more on YouTube, but he does Twitch as well. So I was like, oh, alright, cool, cool, and um I kind of I, I I joined in on a few of his streams and things and I tried to help with the multiplayer aspect and, and stuff. And um when COVID hit I was like, oh yeah, I'll give this a go. Because I'm not getting as much social interaction as I once was these days. And um yeah, I've overtaken him in followers now. But I feel sorry for him because he's been doing this for like a year. And I've been doing it for about a month. And um here we are. He's a good guy. Total idiot. Total spanner. There is no spanner bigger 
than the Gooch. But he's a nice guy. Yeah, that's it, consistent. The cool thing is, it's not even like I'm, I'm not even really coming on here for, for like, oh, I've got to go stream. It's just like, ah, oh, I can play games with other people watching now. I'm actually going to play the games I want to play. Well, I don't have my second monitor at the moment. At the moment, it's all on, it's all on one screen. You should see it. It's, uh, it's a thing of beauty. Here you go, have a look at this. Have a look. What's the uh, function? I'll take a picture. Let's go in here. There we go. Let me go and um. This on imager. Show in folder. Show in folder, please. Watch, I better pause this because you get ranked. Ranked based on how fast you do it. Don't want to be a slow coach. Did not want to be a slow coach. I don't want to. I don't want to wipe. Oh, for goodness sake. Where can I paste an image? Image paste. Pasteboard. Yes. Try and drop an image in. No, I don't. I don't want to crop it. Just upload it. Just upload it. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's what uh, my one monitor looks like right now. As you can see, everything, it's like a game of Tetris. Everything's packed in there. Not much room for, for other stuff. I don't technically need the, the middle one at the top, but it's all up there. As you see, there's a very nice Terry Crews on the bottom right as well. Love me a bit of Terry Crews. Yeah, I normally would have a second uh, monitor up as well. Because uh, when I'm doing development work, it's far easier to have one monitor with I'm actually doing code on that monitor and one monitor I'm debugging on that one and googling solutions for stuff. Oh, actually, what was, what's this door? Is there any, you, is there any like specific information on there? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. I'll give out uh, bank pin numbers on request. It's fine. Yeah, I don't... Mm, but I want to go back in there. But all roads are leading me there. That's the... Oh, no! Yeah. Yeah. Don't need to go in there yet. What a tall idiot. Yeah, Kirstie loves the... The um, the commands that are set up. Some oil. There's some sausage. Love me a bit of sausage. Yes, and Rolf is notorious for falling asleep. When we used to do like these land nights or or playthroughs, we we we'd sometimes drink a bit, and it would be quite frequent for Rolf to curl up and um, fall asleep on a couch and boot you off. Oh nice. Have a good night. Oh god, it's locked. God, it's locked. I'm going to save while I'm up in there. I want to go see the sharks again. Night night. Hope you'll have a good sleep. Nice buttery sleep. Delicious.
That's that's not good. Oh, I can't cut him down. Too bad. He's gonna drop down and kill me in a minute anyway. Yes, of course I'll take the ammo. Of course I'll take the self defense gun. Equip that one, one shot wonder. That way, that way. There we go. Into the bathroom. Uh oh. is rapidly going south. Stop. Let's just kill this guy with normal bullets. No, get off. with his own gun. That's what I'm gonna do. Mercy kill. Poor guy. Never going in that room again. I think I might just go save and go to go to read for a bit. No time today. I thought we referenced the guy just hung himself. <laughs> That's it. That's all she wrote for tonight. Well, well, I won't be on tomorrow. Well, I will, but not with this. Because it's seven days to die tomorrow. So, um... Watch some live if you want. Otherwise, part three of this will be whenever I can be bothered. Until next time, bye bye.